All right, Garrett, let's do a quick F Mary kill of the three biggest, what do you want to say, Targaryens we get yep. in House of the Dragon. The three heads, Emma, heads of the dragon. Yeah, my, my three heads, baby. Right Emma oh. Targaryen, which is Viserys' wife we get to see in episode one, Rhaenyra, and Rhaenys. So out of these three, who are you effing, who are you marrying, and who are you killing? And before you answer that, Gator, mm -hmm. I want everyone in the comments right now listening to this, give us your F Mary kill because I want to see if people that are listening to our kind of content – are on point here because there's some people give some pretty bad takes and I I want them to be I'm gonna ban them if they give a bad right yeah yep. comments so. don't even unsub no. you're going away <laughs> yeah sorry so yep. go ahead who, 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 the last video you ever gonna watch okay so uh, let me let me go with this I'm gonna go marriage first and I'm going okay. Emma is my Mary That's Emma is my Mary yep. and I am a little bit concerned with the lack of ability to procreate a son. <laughs> okay, I am. But it's like, I can live with a daughter. It's no big deal. Like, if I have a daughter, right. that's fine. I'll definitely love a daughter. I love my daughter. But it's the whole thing of like, okay, if I get her pregnant with a son, is she going to die? Is that like a rule? Is that built into her blood? Is she going to I die? Don't or know. is it an incest yeah, thing sense. only, maybe? It's like, only if a son conceived by someone of my very own blood. I'm marrying Emma. She's of good character. She's definitely caring. I think she was a great wife to King V. She's wifey material. Yeah, I, I don't always agree with you, but you have to go with Emma because she, not only is she such a loving wife, we see her in every scene, but even like the way she looks at her husband here. I, <laughs> I know, the, the find good you photo. someone dude, who looks yeah. like, looks at you like Emma looks at uh, King V there. Oh, dude, King V and her. That, I want a little like a what if scenario where they go off and they just live their life and they just live happily ever after with no boys they can ever conceive for whatever reason. But right. yeah, that does have me concerned potentially that uh, she could not have men uh and it feels like Rhaenyra has the exact opposite situation she where does, she's only yeah. have she's only popping out boys and the one woman or girl she has is uh the one that's a stillborn uh child but uh you know what i'm going to for that reason marry Rhaenyra because i really? do want boys i don't that want makes listen, sense. It makes i might sense. regret this in the future when i actually have daughters but if I have to pick all girls, all boys, I got to pick all boys, baby. No, I'm right with you. I would, I totally agree with that. But that so I'm marrying Rhaenyra, but uh, I there's a lot crazy, of crazy dude. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of luggage. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping, hopefully, her craziness maybe just leads her off a a ledge where she's like, "I'm gonna go to war." I'm like, "Yeah, you go right ahead, honey. I'll be right there." And, <laughs> Yeah, something yeah go ahead, and... fly in, fly. I'll be right by. I just got to use the bathroom real quick. Yeah, maybe that's the case. But, dude, Simp Supreme's coming after you. You know that, right? Oh, he no. pretends to hate her. He still wants her. And he's, listen, you know, strike me down, Dark. He's actually a great fighter. <laughs> okay, he's actually a great fighter still. Well, ideally, so, I, could, I could live the Lenore life with Rhaenyra, right? I could be hanging out with the boys. Yeah. She smashes whoever she wants. Well, maybe I could actually, you know, bust on like Lenor. It seems like Lenor had some issues, like a ton of issues. Why he that did, never yeah. worked out? But yeah, hopefully they're my kids. I don't care if we mix them in the middle. I'm not that, you know, attached to her. But it gives me more time with the boys. She's hanging out with uh, whoever boy she wants to. So See, I'm marrying Rhaenyra for that I, reason. That, that's a good one. But you know, Emma. At the same time, it's like you get your time with the boys. There's no way Emma has any issue. She probably cooks you, you know, homemade chocolate chip cookies yeah, right. for you and the boys. Yeah, she right. hangs out by herself on the other side of the house, brings you cookies and snacks whenever you want. Like, okay, you boys have fun. Like, get the uh, fuck out of here before I fucking <laughs> knock you one. Or, you know, something uh, like that. Right. She goes and leaves you alone. And plus, if you actually get sick of marriage in general, you don't have to bother with the divorce papers or whatever. You just impregnate Emma with a boy. What's nice about, solves itself. What's nice about Emma is she allowed king v to have his whole side hobby too she didn't like jump down his neck being like right what's up with this old Valeria model <laughs> this is taking too much space in the bedroom you're like dude emma please get the fuck out of here no in all seriousness she's super supportive and great i can't compromise marrying emma i said rainier i do hear you about about the boys but i think it's just crazy i uh, have to kill Rhaenyra, actually. I'm killing the oh, no. shit that's out my of her. Wife. i don't care if that's your wife that's, i don't care if that's your new wife your new wife is dead and, and are you killing her just because holy matrimony? Okay, strike you down to hell. What's that? <laughs> is it just more so like I'm wondering your 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 line of logic here because you're thinking like I just want to kill one of these or you just don't want to smash? You rather just smash? No, I'll uh, give you my Rhaenys line of reasoning. Then. I'll give you a line of reasoning uh, because Rhaenys, I know for a fact that she can conceive children or whatever as well. So a one and done. You know, maybe yeah. maybe not at this age, but I think I can age her down a little bit, right? I mean, this isn't Rhaenys locked into this age, is it? Uh, it's, yeah, whatever age you want to get her in. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that young, you know. But whatever, old enough to conceive. I'll give her one and done, and she can pop out possibly a son, and then I can add her to the mix or add that son. Sorry, him. I'll right. add him to the mix of uh, you know all of my daughters with uh, Emma. I'm good to go. And then Rainice could just go live on her own or whatever. Fuck Corliss or Vaymond or whatever black dude she chooses.
Yeah, I, I think I, I'm, t- I'm tempted to to smash uh, Rainey's too because the the idea of smashing somebody with a xenomorph or whatever you want to say Frieza level or level two form like <laughs> right. head, you know, yes, it's yes. this weird like thinking about gross... the crystal skull. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, first off, me and you've always talked about this when we're smashing. We got to see what's underneath there. Is that all head or is that just a lot of hair? I have to see what's underneath there. So, right. but also grabbing that just sounds great. And I got she's like a mommy gill vibes off this, right? She looks pretty good. I mean, for sure, and, yeah. And she's also like we, we've talked about this before. I think when we did a smasher pass of our House of Valyrian, uh, that she was like has something to prove, right? She's like she's the queen that never was, but she's gonna try to prove to me yep. that I should be on her side, even though no one in the Seven Kingdoms or a vast majority of them uh, did not agree with her and should not she should not be sitting in the Iron Throne or anywhere near it. But I don't know because if I if I smash Emma, there's a probability that I'll have a male son and I automatically kill her. So do I just kill her or smash her and then she dies? You know, like well, there's a, it's almost there's I, just, I, here. I hear what you're saying because if you just kill Emma, you're kind of putting her out of her misery because odds are she's gonna be yeah. impregnated with a boy yeah. at some point. I mean, she went over it in the beginning in the first episode. She said, "Listen, our place in Westeros as the royal family or whatever, we're just yes. basically breeding." stock right that's what she is and she hears it she accepts it so odds are she's getting pregnant with a boy at some point whether or not you do it so maybe kill her and put out of, put her out of her misery i understand <laughs> or, or yeah the misery of my bad performance in the bed right that could be it too <laughs> she's like i've been impregnated by the the smallest man uh sexually <laughs> if you can well, just visualize that somehow I mean, i'm gonna it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna <laughs> Be a lot of noise and not a lot of uh, nothing you against know, substance. Nothing against King V, but we kind of saw him perform with Allison, and that was nothing to write you home about. You think he's bringing his A game with Allison, or you think he saved it all for Emma? He's like, dude, I'm not showing all my moves to Allison. That's Fuck true. That. His, his A game may have gone the wayside, you know, with Emma. That is 100 percent a possibility as well. You know what? I benefit of the doubt. I, th- I think King V had it in him. I think he was virile as fuck, and when Emma died, that went with her. So. Yeah, okay. Well, all due respect for King V, I'm going to kill Emma. I don't want to yeah, defile her. That's that's his, his woman. I love King V. I'm just going to put her out of her misery, and I even put my – I don't want her to see my uh, disproportional dick-to-ball ratio, which would probably scar her and make her probably contemplate suicide. <laughs> It'd basically be like uh, some Cthulhu-like nightmare scenario. She would right, it's like, like a love How does this even exist? Yes, yes, yes exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just go insane seeing it. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm smashing uh, Rainey's, killing Emma, and uh, marrying Rhaenyra. Well, at least we have one in agreement, you know, Rainey's. <laughs> Yeah, smash your knees just for the. We got to see what's going on with that head. There's it's for the story. Real it's for the story, yeah. dude. I basically fucked a half alien the other day. It was great. <laughs> Maybe three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let us know who you are uh, fucking, marrying, killing out of these three Targaryens we've got out of the House of the Dragon. Uh, be sure, if you kind of like this kind of content, we got a ton of it on the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more of it, and smash that like button like you want to smash uh, at least one of these women. You got it. Yeah, your favorite Targaryen. 